Stock Management System Tutorial with Procedural PHP Part 1 In this tutorial, we will be creating the database in the FMyAdmin, downloading the assets file, and creating the database connection. So let's start. Create the database name as a stock. In this entity, users, there are four fields namely user ID, username, password, and email. The user ID is a primary key of this table and its type should be an integer. Also, check auto increment on this field to define each row data uniquely. The username, password and email field will be in varchar with 255 lengths to store that much length of character now click on save to button In this entity, brands, there are four fields namely brand ID, brand name, brand active, and brand status. The brand ID is the primary key and its type should be an integer. The brand name type will be in Varchar with 255 lengths. The brand active and brand status type will be an integer. The brand active will define the brand availability and brand status will define to display the data. Now, click on save button.
In this table, category, there are four fields namely category ID, category name, category active, and category status. The category ID is the primary key and its type should be an integer. The category name type will be in Varchar with 255 lengths. The category active and category status type will be an integer. The category active will define the category availability and category status will define to display the data. Now, click on save button. In this table, product, there are 10 fields namely product ID, product name, product code, product image, brand ID, categories ID, quantity, rate, active, and status. The product ID is the primary key and its type should be an integer. The brand ID and categories ID are foreign keys of brand and category table. The product name and product code type will be in Varchar with 255 lengths. The product image type will be in the text to store the image URL. The quantity type will be Varchar with 255 lengths to store the total stock of product. The rate type will be in Varchar with 255 lengths to display the price of the product. And lastly, active and status will be in an integer to display the availability of the particular product. Now, click on save button.
In this table, orders, there are 14 fields namely order ID, order date, client name, client contact, subtotal, VAT, total amount, discount, grand total, paid, due, payment type, payment status, and order status. The primary key of this entity is order ID, its type should be an integer, and check on the auto increment to define the each row data uniquely. Now, click on save button. In this table, orders items, there are seven fields namely order item ID, order ID, product ID, quantity, rate, total, order item status. The orders item ID is a primary key of this entity, its type should be an integer, and check auto increment. The order ID and product ID field is a foreign key. The quantity, rate, and total field type will be in Varcher 255 lengths. The order item status defines the status of the availability, and its type will be an integer. Now, click on Save button. Now we are going to set up the project folder. Firstly, create four folders namely assets, custom, includes, and php underscore action. <laughs> 